Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never ending happiness. You can always see the sun, day or night. Cause in this life, things are much harder. Maximu, I love you. Say hi to your mommy and your daddy. Say hi to all your little family. You can hold your own spoon. Who's the little fellow? His name is Mr. Max. Who is? You is. Max's movie, take one. Hey, go! Max is one and a half years old. Not even one and a half, actually. He's one, he's 15 months. Go, Maxie, go! Go! Oh my goodness. Max, you're so strong. <laughs> Max Shack Knight, aka the littlest. I don't play. Is who wrote that? Fellow. Who wrote that? July 3rd, 2007. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> 
Ethan, can you help him get a topping? You want a topping? I think he wants what a topping. Want? <laughs> what do you want on there? Okay, all right. Happy birthday to you. Happy Coco, happy birthday to you, Maxi And Jean with him like together. And you say, one, two, three, and all together you jump. All his hand, Mary, all his hand of Max. Very good. Say so now, one, two, three, jumping. Jumping, jumping, your soy Felix. Allez, little Max. Well, <laughs> Is that a ladybug? Ladybug. Oh. Or is a bee bee? Ladybug. We are young! Go back, Max! Don't get caught! Look, she's in the corner! Look! We got it! Max! I saw him on the camera. Oh, they didn't send you a gift card because they sent you a card. Oh my gosh, Jonah! Did you see that? Max is dead? La 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 la. La la la. Come on! Gabby, just stand separately, Gabby. <laughs> oh. Mommy, what happened? No, no, you two are a treat. No, we're a treat. Oh, 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 o
What is your name? Rocky Balboa? How old are you, Rocky? How old are you, Rocky? Big. Big? Are you 10? No. Are you 2? Or 3. 3. No, 12. 12? 13. 13? Yes. Oh my goodness, so do you go to high school? No. Middle school? Yes. Oh, yeah. Do you play any sports? Uh -huh. What's What sports do you play? Soccer. Oh, anything else? Basketball. Basketball, great. What are your favorite subjects in school? Do you like to read or write or do math? Math. Math? Oh, do you like to read too? Yes. Oh. No, I, I do Hebrew school. Oh, you do Hebrew school. Oh. So you're going to make your bat mitzvah? Yes. Oh. In fact, you're going to make it soon. Yeah. Because you're 12, so you're going to be 13. So yeah, next year. Why? Are you going to read from the Torah? What? Are you going to read a Torah portion? Yes. Oh. You power. Max, where's the most power that you can have? Is it your muscles or in your mind? My muscles. No. What has the most power, your muscles or your mind? My muscles. No, your mind. No, my muscles. No, your soul and your mind. E A M. What does that spell? Max. No. <laughs> that spells Adam. It's Adam's birthday. Do you give Adam a, a kiss and a hug on his birthday? I love you, Uncle Adam. Oh. Oh, nice. No. <laughs> Is that for me? Yeah. That's for you, Max. How did you know? How did you know? Glad oh, that's Max. Oh, Do you say thank you to Uncle Adam? Oh. Repair to be raised. Do you have more cookies? Do you have to wash all those plates? This guy was stupid, but I knew it. Oh, for... Oh my god, I'm loud. 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 Oh my Are you better not feel so? Hello? You know who? Who? Chicken boo. You know why? Chicken boo. Chicken boo. Chicken boo. You guys gotta find your groove. This is my song. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Wow, he can do it. Look at him. He's almost to the edge. Oh my, he did it. Oh, how do you feel, Max Shacknai? Come on, Maxie, straight away. I love you. 
more than anything in all the universes. I'm the luckiest mommy that ever lived in this world because I have you. Not you. You. I don't have you. You always have me. But I go to dance. But you always have me in your heart, remember? And where else? In your thinking thoughts. Yeah. And your mommy's thoughts. And then you're where you're... Uh, heart? And, and your mind. You mean right here? Well, actually, it's true. All your love really comes from here. It really comes from your, your nipple. All <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. We got enough of you for nipple. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, so here's Max Shackney. Hello, what are you? What? Are, hello, um, who are you, sir? I'm a life. Help! Help! Someone's someone's asking for help. Oh my gosh! What's, okay, you have to go. <gasps> You're saving it. You're saving that person. Who? Oh, look! Look, here he goes. He's swimming. Oh my gosh! He's getting him to shore. Oh, thank you very much. Kickity, is that you? Kickity? Oh, Kickity. Oh, thank you, sir. You're, you said your name was what? Max Shacknai. Max Shacknai. You seem to be a very strong swimmer. Let's see. <gasps> Maxi! Grasshoppers have six legs and they don't get wings until they're all Look. grown up. Graze in the grass and Jakey. see you do the grasshopper. <laughs> 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 Look, I know. I know. Look at Max is doing it. Nathan's doing it. And Jakey's doing it too. <laughs> wow. <gasps> what do you think today is? Okay. I heard mom. You can't. <gasps> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. What's all this stuff, Maxie? Mm. Wow. Is it a cake? What kind of cake? Chocolate. No, should we open it? Should we cut the cake? Okay, come on. Look at all those things. Here, ready? I just wanted to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Maxie. Happy birthday to you. Is it your birthday? No. It's not? No. Oh, you're not five? No. Oh, okay. What are you, four, three? Let's see. Eight. Oh, it doesn't say, oh, five. No, that's a two. See, that's a two. Oh, you're two? You're goo goo. Goo goo. <laughs> so today is February 2010. It's, it was grandparents' day today. So Max, did you have a grandparent come to visit you? Mm. Who, who, who was it? Can you please introduce me? No. I came all the way to see you today. It was because it was a special day. <laughs> I have, all, I have yeah. all plastic teeth, and so I can't bite into things as well as I could before. These are strong teeth. Yes, yes. Very strong. But you're still very young, and they're going to fall out because your second teeth are underneath there growing. And all of a sudden you say, 
Mommy, my tooth is weak. It's wiggly. And Mommy will say, Oh, here it is. Then the tooth fairy will come and give you a present for him. So, I just have one adult teeth. You do? One fell out already? Okay, go kick that soccer ball, Max. Get Suki, get Suki. Ah. <laughs> Go, man. <laughs> Come on, Max, you got a tricker. Amore grande? Amore grande. <laughs> you never what, Max? You never what? Say it again. Wait, Max, what? so alive. <laughs> you have to know. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Come on, you got to get up. Michael Jackson always gets up. Or he is. <laughs> Ready? What are you, Max? You don't want to say? I thought you were singing your schnitzels, schnitzel song. Pookie. I'm a schnitzel pookie. Maxie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Max. Maxie. Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> You're working so hard on that. Don't video 
videotape. <gasps> Don't videotape you? But it's your first day of school. Okay. Let me see your school face. Let's see. Like this? Whoa, here they come. largest aircraft carriers. On board, you will find a church, movie theater, library, hospital, dental office, post office, and even a barber shop. It's party time, guys. Oh, it's party time. Ocean liners are floating resort <laughs> hotels made especially for people on vocation. Vacation. <laughs> vacation. Vacation. <laughs> These ships cruise all over the world during a 14-day trip an ocean liner might anchor at many different islands and cities, <laughs> providing many special opportunities. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, I love that hat, Max. Look at your shoes. You look Those so handsome. Shoes? Do you have your belt on? You look so cute. <laughs> Max, you look so handsome. Uh, are you a star student or do you hate school? What do you think? Whoa, Max! <laughs> Max does the bunt, bump, bounce. Whoa! Whoa! Will! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and Brando does this and, and somersault. Okay, now she's going. Look, there she is. She touches. And she's trying to. Oh, but she gets it again. <laughs> she feels. She's just a tackle. Now it's her ball. It's her ball. Okay, but she gets. Oh, he gets it. Nope. No, oh, she does. He's getting to the goal, but she's holding on to it. The match. The Okay, good, Maxie. Open space. Good, good. 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 Come on, Maxie, go get it! Great job, Betty. Ow! Huh. Oh. Now you can't get me, huh? Guess you can't get me. Chug, chug, chug! <sighs> You're chug, chug, chugging along. On your birthday beach barbecue, what do you think? Ooh, 
Do you master the scooter? Anything to say for posterity's sake? No, I don't. <laughs> I will only Sophie to pet. Oh. And good night, little Maxie. I love you more than anything in all the universes. I love you. I love you too. I'm Babu Day. I'm Babu Day. Having Max and Dina over to dinner was always something we looked forward to. We loved and welcomed them at our house. Once when he was over for dinner, he told Dina that he needed to go to the bathroom and she said, okay Max, just go ahead and use the guest room. Max replied, but mom, we are not guests, right? The implication was that he and Dina are like family, so why would they be relegated to the guest room? He wanted to know where the family bathroom was. Once after Max had been to an uncomfortable visit to the dentist, Dina asked him what they could do afterwards that would be soothing to him. He replied that they should go to Susie's house. I consider this one of the best compliments I've ever received. Max had a depth in his eyes that conveyed a wisdom well beyond his years and a sense of humor that revealed his brilliance. He was beautiful and charming. His giggle was contagious. He had all of the best of Dina's and Jonah's qualities. My son Scotty referred to Max as one very cool little man. That coolness was an acknowledgement of Max's intense, unusual intelligence. Max's time in our world was relatively short, but he made a profound impact. I think about Max almost every day, replaying fond memories of the time we spent together. There is nothing I can say that adequately describes the loss of this little, beautiful man who was not a guest in our house. I got the chance to babysit Max a lot this summer and it reminded me of how much I love little Maxie. No matter what mood I was in when I went to see him, I would always immediately become happy. His smile would always light up a room and bring a smile to anyone's face. No matter what, he would find the best in every situation and would always find a way to have fun. He was always so curious and didn't seem to care what others thought about him and was always very sensitive. Max was really one of a kind. He told me his favorite color was baby blue and I have yet to meet a kid with the same favorite color. If someone else was hurting, he would do anything in his power to help. Maxie was the most caring and talented kid I have ever met and I am honored to have been a part of his life. Not often in my adult life have I reflected on the wisdom and wit of a child, as I do when I think of Maxie. Whether he was sharing an insightful observation on the world, quipping a joke, or simply reveling in a funny moment, he embodied a humility, humanity, and love for life that I cannot come close to emulating. I have many, many wonderful memories of my times with Maxie, whether we were playing Angry Birds under the kitchen counter or learning how to play rugby in the backyard. I know Maxie is watching over us tonight, so I wanted to just send a message to him. 
Maxie, I don't know how to make sense of why you were taken from us. And sometimes, the only reasonable explanation I can come up with is that heaven needed an angel, and you were the only person on the entire earth worthy of the position. Nonetheless, I am sure, as you're watching over us, you're reminding us in your own special way to laugh, to smile, to hug a little longer, and to say I love you. I am so honored to have known you, Max, and I am blessed with the memories that we shared. The reason I do anything is to honor you. My dear Maxie, to honor you, I get up every day and take a breath and start another day without you in it. To honor you, I laugh and I love with those who knew your smile and the way your eyes twinkled with mischief and all your secret knowledge. To honor you, I take the time to appreciate everyone I love. I now know there's no guarantees of days or hours spent in their presence. To honor you, I listen to music you would have liked, like your dynamite, and I sing at the top of my lungs with the windows rolled down. To honor you, I take chances, say what I feel, hold nothing back, risk making a fool of myself, and dance every dance. Maxie, you were my light, my heart, my gift of love, my sweet angel. So every day, I vow to make a difference, share a smile, live, laugh, and love. Now I live for us both. So all I do, I do to honor you. You are all in my heart, and I will love you forever and ever. Love, Auntie Weenie Dog. He has a little stage, and he would always let me play the drums while he would sing on the stage. I remember um, in soccer that um, he helped me make my first goal. He invited us to his birthday parties. There was one birthday party where there was like this dunker thing where we would sit, and then you just drop, and he let me push it because I missed the ball. He just let me push it because he was a really caring friend. If you felt sad, he would try to cheer you up. I miss him a lot. My friend Max, I remember playing soccer with you. I made back up just like you. I remember having fun play dates with you. I remember having a, a birthday party with you. And we had a big slide and everyone had their own cake. I miss you, Maxie. Maxie was a good friend and a great teammate. I know why Mick always put him in the forward position, because he always took it seriously. He was always right up there with the ball. Max, I love your smile. Your smile makes me happy. You're the best friend ever. Love, Jace Husky. Max was never a burden to have around. His presence was a pleasure with his kind, genuine smile and lighthearted laughter. Maxie, I think of how lucky I am to have ever had you in my life all the time. Hello, Maxie. How come it's not recording? It is recording, sweetie. What is it? Yes, it really is. I promise that it is. Hello, hello. What do you have to say? Hello, I love you, I love you. Daddy, I love you. Oh, I love you, Daddy, Maxie, Maxie. Will you, will you be my Valentine? Yes. Okay. Okay. Once um, we were sitting in the kitchen, it was me, Molly, Seamus, and Max. And Seamus was like goofing around saying like, like, Molly, you're fat, you're fat, you're fat. And... Max um, looked at him and he's like, the two things that you never tell a woman is that she's getting gray hair and that she's fat. <laughs> okay. If you'll be my star, I'll be your sky. You can hide underneath me and come out night. Turn jet black and you show off your light. 
Dear Maxie, this is your little sister Grace, who is so sorry not to have been able to have played with you. I dream of you in heaven playing with your soccer ball, and every time I look into the clouds, I know you are looking down at me and protecting me from above with your beautiful smile. I am sending you a picture of me so that you can recognize me. Love forever, Grace. talented player in the Blackhawks program who tragically lost his life in July 2011. The first word out of Max's mouth as a baby was ball. His love of sports, soccer in particular, was known throughout the Scottsdale soccer community. Max was introduced to the Scottsdale soccer world on the sidelines, watching his older brother and sister participate actively. Max was a fixture at their games, dribbling the ball up and down the sidelines, and shooting goals during halftime. He befriended quickly the younger siblings of other Blackhawks players and looked forward to hanging out and playing soccer with them at each game. Max began formal playing in the Tiny Tots program, where he was the youngest player at 22 months. Following a stint as the youngest player in the St. Francis League, Max was ready to begin his career as a Scottsdale soccer rec player. Over two seasons, Max scored over 40 goals and was a leader on his team. During the 2010-11 season, Max was invited to play up as a Blackhawk, even though the other players on his squad were one or two years older than he. At each practice and in each game, Max, number six, demonstrated enthusiasm for the sport and an intense drive to win. Max was very well liked by fellow players and coaches in the Blackhawks program and respected for his intensity, coupled with a great sense of camaraderie and humor. His friends and teammates appreciated Max's empathy, kindness, and generosity of spirit. His signature wide smile beckoned new friends of all ages into his world. Max was excited to rejoin his rec friends as they advanced to the 05 Blackhawks for the 2011-12 season. Max was believed to be an excellent young prospect in the Blackhawks program with a very bright future in the sport. Max is remembered by the Blackhawks through the Blackhawks Max Shacknight Invitational Tournament, which provides a showcase for soccer excellence and the character and athletic development it represents. <laughs>
Because I'm a fighter. That's the way I'm made, Adrian. We can't change what we are. First of all, I'd like to thank everyone who has um, attended here this evening uh, to celebrate Maxie's beautiful life. I am so grateful when I look at, or when I imagine how many people um, are here and how many people have helped. Um, I would like to give a special thanks to Lori Ray and Andrew Coster, and Susan Buttinger for their help. Were it not for their efforts, this would not be done. And also to the heroic efforts of our videographer, who. <laughs> uh, probably, you know, uh, got more than he bargained for when he started this. So, um, Mike Chessworth, thank you very much. Um, and I also would like to thank everyone, all of the friends and my very good friends who have been here day in and day out. And I think you all know who you are in the audience. And I thank you very much. And Max says as well, in spirit. Um, I would also like to take this opportunity on behalf of our families um, to thank you for your support of Max. Um, through the Maxfield A. Shack Knight Foundation, through the um, donations to Whispering Hub Branch, to the donations to Phoenix Country Day School. Um, it's uh, been an amazing outpouring of support for him. One of the things that I realized as I went through this process, you know, beyond the soul-shattering grief, um, was how many friends that we had, how many people cared. I've come through this realizing how wonderful people are and how lucky we are and how lucky I am as a mom and I wouldn't change being his mommy for anything in all the universes because he was so amazing and I think his relationships with people and his family you know shine through us even today so in his honor we have developed a nonprofit organization called Maxie's House so we are committed and in Maxie's honor we will find a way to serve and help other kids in Arizona in the most important ways that, uh, that we find are, are um, salient in this community. So again, I thank everyone. Um, and obviously, Maxie wouldn't be who he was without his family. And so Jonah, Gabby, and Ethan, and myself, and um, our extended family, you know, Kim and Ian and my mother and Grandpa Giggy and Grandma Marcel and Auntie Weenie Dog, which is what he calls Nina. So thank you everyone so much. I am um, I, grateful and we are blessed for you all. And Max, I know, is with us in spirit and would like for all of you and has hoped everyone here has had the quintessential Maxi play date at his house because he loved that. Thank you.
Wait.